In this video, we will learn how to write a pressy for BA6M English Compulsory question. Let us first understand what is a pressy. A pressy is a summary. Uh, the pressy writing is an essence of any passage in capturing an essence of any passage in as few words as possible. A pressy should mention all important details of the original paragraph. In pressy writing, you must maintain the theme of the passage without excluding the important points. In PUBA 6M, the passage will be of around 200 words. It is specified that it will not exceed 242 to 250 words at any cost. You have to summarize the passage in about one fourth of the original length. So your pressy should be around 50 to 60 words. The steps in writing a pressy or the things that you should consider while writing a pressy are read the passage carefully, mark, underline, and if you have the time in the exam, note the important points. Thirdly, observe the theme of the passage. What is the passage trying to convey? Passage mein kis cheez ki baat ho rahi hai and kis cheez ke around pura passage ki baat ghoom rahi hai jise hum hindi mein kahenge story writing mein kis cheez ke around humari jo story hai wo ird gird ghoom rahi hai. Ye theme hume aage ja ke title choose karne mein bhi help karegi. This theme will also help us in choosing the title of the passage of your pressy. Rewrite the important points in your own language. In your own language is a very important point. We do not have to copy the exact lines from the passage. Otherwise, your marks will be deducted. We have to rewrite them in our own language. We don't, we don't have to use the same exact lines that were in the passage. However, don't add your opinions. Stick to the scope of the given passage. Like you have a syllabus and you don't generally get an out of syllabus question. The same, your passage, the given passage is your syllabus. You don't have to go outside its scope. So don't add your own opinions and don't add, copy the exact lines from the passage. If something is written in quotes, that is, for example, a title of a book is written or a film is written, it's in inverted quotes or single quotes, then you can copy the exact same words in the pressy then your marks will not be deducted. Write the pressy in third person and the text should be written in indirect form. So you don't have to write that I was saying this. You have to write in third person. Go with introduction. So the pressy should start with the introduction part and then your main points and then con aptly conclude it. However, you don't have to give this give the pressy these headings. You don't have to write the word introduction. You have to introduce and then main points and then conclusion. Don't write these headings. I've just mentioned these words for your understanding. Check that pressy is to the point. There should not be any repeated information or redundant information or unnecessary filler statements. So whenever we get a passage, sometimes a uh, one thing is explained again and again and there are certain filler statements you have to omit these you have don't have to repeat any single point and you have to check and correct your grammatical errors if there are any eighth choose the appropriate title which suits the passage the hints that how to choose the passage uh, title are what the theme of the passage is what is the passage describing or conveying or trying to convey what is being talked about in the entire passage. So for example, a passage is talking about a COVID-19 uh, virus that came in 2020. So you don't have to write like COVID-19. You have to see like what is being discussed. So the theme is COVID-19, but there is a sub theme which will be, is it discussing the harmful effects of COVID-19? Or is it discussing what actually we gained, like the side effects that, you know, the pollution got reduced and everything. So you have to carefully observe what of the theme of the being, uh, what the theme of the passage is and what is being discussed. Like, for example, in books, you have chapters uh, like history or geography. One is talking about um, Indian Revolution, the French Revolution, or uh, the other is talking about... Um, 
इंडिपेंडेंस हाउ इंडिया गॉट इंडिपेंडेंस सो द चैप्टर इंडिया इंडिपेंडेंस इट्स दे विल बी डिस्कस्ड द द स्टेप्स द मेजर्स दैट वर टेकन टू अचीव द इंडियाज इंडिपेंडेंस हाउ एवर इंडियाज इंडिपेंडेंस इज काइंड ऑफ अ वेरी ब्रॉड वर्जन ऑफ इट आई वुड से लेट्स कंसिडर फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन फॉर द एग्जाम्पल so the french revolution is the title and then french revolution is being discussed everything is being discussed in the actual chapter that what happened in the french revolution how it was actually conceived and what were its impact and everything so that is the theme the theme is the french revolution and that is the title of your passage as in case the chapter in your book so the case is same just the chapter in your book is being replaced by a passage here or a paragraph here and you have to choose the title the title thing will be the same the how steps to choose a title will be the same and then re uh, uh, the title should not be very long some people choose very long titles about 8 to 10 words you don't have to choose that many just around like 5 words are fine and less than that because when you choose a very long title it becomes a line then it is not really a title the title is short concise you know not many words and reread your pressy again and again so that you're pretty sure that the pressy is conveying the exact information in a summary form as there was in the original passage so the main important points are that you have to uh, mention the main points that were discussed in the passage in your pressy as well so that the meaning of your passage which is the meaning of the passage and the meaning of the pressy should be the same they should not be different so there are some examples however i'm not going to read the entire passage so this is the passage the first example and you can pause the video and read this passage and then the, this is the pressy right so i'm going to tell you this pressy conveys the exact theme of the passage the main points and this may not be the exact rendition of a pressy like it may use the exact same words but you don't have to uh, rewrite copy the same lines you have to rewrite it in your own language so the pressy the title which we have chosen is navigating internet's impact and its challenges so in the original passage we discussed the internet's internet's impact that is its advantages and its challenges however when you discuss like the internet's advantages the main word which comes to your mind is disadvantages however we are discussing not disadvantages of the internet rather we are discussing the challenges which is the internet is posing on us so in the title you can use like copy certain words from the passage because you have to use it right the sense of the title should make sense with the sense of the passage so navigating that means we are exploring internet's impact so internet's impact can be positive or negative we are not mentioning that and its challenges that is what it is challenging us in certain like disadvantages but we are discussing challenges and not disadvantages hence we have not used the word disadvantages or shortcomings and i would suggest that use uh, look up synonyms also before your exam this the second passage this is a pretty long passage and then this is the pressy title is human evolution and emotions because we are discussing the evolution the evolution of human and its emotions how the emotions also so got even also changed during evolution and this is how you write a pressy i'll be uh, mentioning some links in the description as well
so that you can see some more examples but the main points that i discussed like the main points you have to discuss of the passage and you have to rewrite the information in your own words so this is important and thank you for watching